In this video, I'm going to talk about Tato Myerization or we simply call this Enolization. Now, the process of uh, shifting a hydrogen atom or simply a double bond from the structure of a monosaccharide to give rise to something that we call N diol is what is referred to as Tato Myerization. So I'm going to explain the process, uh, the mechanisms, and also uh, the real, uh, the types of uh, bond that is being shift. I'm going to explain using a structure, or let me just say I'm going to use it, uh, use a diagram. Now suppose we have a structure of, what, of glucose. Let's say we have a structure of glucose. This is glucose here, right? So we have three double bond O. We have hydrogen here, right? Then we have carbon here. We have OH here, right? Then here we have hydrogen here. Then from here, let's say we have Carbon, let me just represent this one as white. We have carbon, we have hydrogen, we have R. R simply represents the other carbon atoms and also the other atoms that are connected to the carbon, right? So let's say this is OH. This is glucose. Let me call it D glucose, right? Then let's do another structure, which is the case of fructose, right? Fructose, in this case, you are going to have hydrogen here. We are going to have OH is here, right? We are going to have hydrogen here, then we are going to have this is double bond, right? Then from there, let me represent the rest as white, right? So here I'm going to have carbon, we are going to have hydrogen here, we are going to have OH here, and we are going to have what? Our group here as well. So this is the case of fructose, right? Then let me just again, let me move to the last one, which is the manus, right? So, in the case of manus, I'm going to have double bond here at the top. I'm going to have hydrogen here, but on carbon number 2, I'm going to have my OH to be on this side because don't forget that manus and glucose, they almost have the same structure, but they have this, they have different uh, arrangements of uh, of atom on carbon number 2. That is the way the hydrogen group, hydrogen group announced was, the hydrogen group is arranged in the structure of manus and uh glucose on carbon number two is different so in that case you say manus and glucose are eight mass of each other on carbon number two now this is manus right this is manus then this is fructose right let me rub this side this is fructose actually so in that case let's say this is fructose So I'm having fructose here, right? So then from there, let me just put my hydrogen here. So this is D minus, and this is what D fructose. Then from there, now let's talk about the product that is formed, which is actually the end hole that I said. So this end hole, I'm going to simply represent as what, as red. So here I'm going to have carbon here connected to OH here. So I'm going to have hydrogen is here, right? Then I'm going to have double bond C here. Then I'm going to have OH here, right? Then I'm going to have, let me represent everything here as white as well. So I'm going to have this to be CH is here, right? Then I'm going to have OH is here. Then I'm going to have R. So this is basically endahol. Endahol is a common product that is formed whenever glucose, fructose, and manose are kept in alkaline solution, right? And one thing about sugar that are present what in alkaline solution, sugars that are present what in alkaline solution are they are very 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 redu they are reductive like let me just say reducing sugar, right? So they undergo tautomerization that is changing what in uh the shifting of hydrogen atom or a bond. Whenever there is change in bond or hydrogen atom to form a common product, which is actually the case of what of this end I hope. That is basically what tautomerization is. And listen, whenever you are talking about glucose, glucose to end the health tautomerization, that is glucose to end the health tautomerization, that is we are moving from here to here, right? And uh, we are going from here to here. That is a reversible reaction between glucose and also what end the health, right? Now I'm going to explain what happens here. If you look at this very well. I will explain what happened here. Now look at this carbon number one. This is another hydroxyl group, right? Now look at this. If there is a shift, right? Shift in this bond to this side, 
right? If you have a shift in this bond to this side, then this is going to be a double bond. Then that's the double that you're seeing here. Then there will be breakage of, of this bond. This hydrogen here will come here. The hydrogen will, what, will come here to form what? This hydrogen group that you're seeing. And in that case, what actually happens is that there is changing what? <clears throat> there is changing what in the bond and there is changing what in the hydrogen atom, right? And in that case, you are forming what? Endahol. So one thing about it is that any sugar that possess anomaly carbon, they can undergo catamerization. And that's why I'm, I'm using glucose, fructose, and manose. Because glucose, fructose, and manose, they have what to call what? Anomaly carbon. Anomaly carbon. Anomaly carbon is actually, on this glucose, is this carbon number one. So it can undergo change in, what in, in hydrogen atom or shift in what in bond. Or in the case of fructose, the anomaly carbon is actually what? This carbon number two. It can undergo what? Shift in what in this bond, right? To form what? To form either whole, right? So one thing about uh, glucose is that whenever glucose is kept in an alkaline solution, whenever it is kept in an alkaline solution, first thing that is going to happen is that it is going to what? I undergo isomerization reaction to form D fructose and also what? It's going to form D minus, right? Whenever glucose is kept in an alkaline solution, it's going to form fructose first. After forming fructose, it's going to form what? Manose again. Right, so in that scenario, whereby glucose is what is kept in alkaline solution and it is forming D fructose and also what D manose. That case we call it Lobri de Brun. Lobri de Brun von Ekestin reaction. That is Ekestin, E K E S T E I N. So that's actually what the name. It's just like simply explaining that okay, whenever glucose is what is kept in an alkaline solution. It's undergo isomerization reaction to form fructose and salt, manose, right? And in that case, you call the reaction what Lobry de Brun von Ekestin reaction or Ekestin transformation. Transformation, right? So basically, what I want you guys to understand when it comes to the tautomerization, it's just like basically you are shifting a, a hydrogen atom, right, from one carbon to another. Whenever you are shifting hydrogen atom to one from one carbon to, to another, there is going to what be an for a formation of what of endahol so endahol is a common product that is formed whenever glucose fructose and manose undergo tautomerization reaction right now one thing i want you guys to understand is that if you look at this fructose as well there is change what in this there is shifting what in this position of what of hydrogen atom right and the hydrogen atom is what is shift to this side right whenever it is shifted to this side then the hydrogen atom is going to what react to this this bond is going to, is going to come here then what do you have you have endahol. That's what you have as the major result. So you have endahol as the result. Now the next one that you have, that you have is the case of what of manos. Now if you look at this manos very well, the hydrogen atom, the hydrogen atom here, right? It comes to this side, right? It comes to this side. Then the bond isomerized here. Then what we have here, we have the formation of what of endahol. So endahol is basically the common product, the common product whenever that is formed whenever glucose fructose or manose undergo what tautomerization but what i want you guys to understand is that whenever glucose what is kept in an alkaline medium for several hours several hours it's going to undergo what transformation or let me just say isomerization to form what d fructose and also what d manose that's the most common point that you guys have to get here right so one thing is that whenever uh we have sugar 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 in alkaline solution they are powerful 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 reducing agents sugar in alkaline solution are what are powerful what reducing agent that is they are going to have what reducing end since they have the what anomaly carbon atom right they have anomaly carbon atom so they are powerful reducing what agents and this NiO that is formed is highly reactive it's highly reactive this NiO that is formed is highly reactive so NiO once again is a common product that is formed whenever what Whenever glucose, fructose, and manose undergo what tautomerization reaction. So let me just use this. Let me show the uh the arrow. Let me show the arrow, right? So in that case, so you guys will have a uh, better understanding on how it goes, right? So look at this. It is reversible. So we have something like this, right? In the case of fructose, and we have something like this in the case of what of manose. That is the arrow. So this is basically tautomerization reaction. So the common product is what is endahol. 
that's just it. So that's just it about tautomerization, or you call it, or you also call it, analyzation, the formation of what of inner group and inner group. And whenever you are forming inner group, don't forget that there is always uh, a reaction that occurs between what between adults, or let me just say add height, or let me still use the word adults because we are talking about sugar in this case. And no, and also what keto. So the the sim, uh, similarities between them is actually changing what in hydrogen atom. Whenever they shift in hydrogen atom, you are going to move from what from ino to what to keto, or you move from what from keto to what ino. That's basically what happened here. So and in the case of glucose, whenever you kept glucose and adult sugar, whenever you keep it, kept it in an alkaline solution for several hours, it's going to form what fructose, or it's form what manose. So that's just it about tautomerization. So if you enjoyed this um uh, this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching.